Good afternoon. And you must be very tired, so I'd like to uh, finish my talk as soon as possible. Okay. Let me start. Uh, uh, this is the summary of the publications from uh, Eastern countries. Uh, we have four papers from three centers. Uh, first one was published in, uh, it was year 2002, which was performed in year 2000 uh, by the uh, Japanese surgeons in Kyushu University. They were using the three-arm standard uh, uh, Da Vinci system, but it was a little bit, uh, it just uh, gets back to me, but it is not a uh, safe, uh, sound, gastric cancer surgery. After that, uh, from uh, Korea, we have pu pu published about three papers. Which one was uh, previously uh, get, uh, explained to you by uh, Dr. Kim? And, these, uh, and then two are from our uni institute. And almost all of these papers says that uh, the robotic surgery is uh, safe and feasible for gastric cancer. Uh, let me update some of the uh, Dr. Kim's results, and it was the until uh, this year June, uh, this year January, and up this year uh, August, we have performed about 450 cases by 21 surgeons. That means we have increased the six surgeons in our country, and the case number was increased about uh, performed uh, within seven months is about uh, 140 or 70 cases. Uh, this is our uh, institutional experience for the Da Vinci surgery. We have first system in year 2005, July, and the second system was installed in uh, year 2007, uh, August, and third system was uh, the February of year 2008, and uh, recently we also bought the, uh, the Da Vinci SI system. And recently, the, and the monthly number of the uh, Da Vinci surgery in our hospital is about 150 cases uh, nowadays, including every uh, types of surgeries. And the, this is our uh, experience for the minimally invasive surgery for gastric cancer. Uh, on, until last year, we performed about 220 cases of robotic surgeries and about 60 ca 600 cases of conventional laparoscopic gastrectomies. Uh, this is the about 20% of the uh, gastrectomies performed in our institute. As you can see in this slide, the, the proportion of the minimally invasive surgery has been grown quite uh, rapidly, but uh, not so, uh, you know, that... Uh, Uh, most of the young surgeons does, uh, doesn't want to perform the open surgeries in, nowadays in Korea, but still there are many patients uh, who have advanced to this, and then the, uh, some senior surgeons doesn't want to perform the minimal invasive surgeries for gastric cancer. Uh, this is our only uh, operative result for initial consecutive 100 cases. As you can see here, the post-operative outcome and the operative uh, parameters are quite uh, similar to that of uh, laparoscopic surgeries has been performed with uh, acceptable uh, post-operative outcomes and then the complication rates. And what happened to the next 100 cases? As you can see here, the operation time has been uh, decreased somewhat, and the blood loss was decreased a little bit. Uh, but the, the other thing was quite similar. That means that uh, the, after the 100 cases, the the next 100 cases does not uh, affected by the surgical experiences, maybe. So we can easily uh, think that uh, the learning curve effect has been overcome in, within this period. I don't know whether uh, it was uh, it is the exact number for the uh, overcoming the learning curve effect, but uh, compared to the uh, open surgery or the laparoscopic surgery, we can easily reach to the uh, learning curve period, uh, overcome the learning curve period uh, a little bit uh, faster than other types of surgeries, maybe. Uh, actually, uh, the, for the long-term result, it, it is too soon to conclude our initial experience because the, uh, the longest follow was 49 months only. So, uh, but uh, with our uh, the one, 247 consecutive patients, 
uh, we found that uh, three recurrences of, until now, but one was the remnant stomach uh, very early lesion, which was treated by ESD. So that was the missed lesion or the de novo uh, gastric cancer in the remnant stomach, maybe. So maybe the true recurrence was two cases in stage three and stage four. Uh, but as you can see here, the follow uh, duration is too short to to uh, to say that this is quite a good result or not. Uh, however, the uh, until now, the, our post-operative outcome is quite satisfactory and uh, acceptable uh, in the in in the viewpoint of the oncological uh, point of view. And uh, the co we have uh, four. Uh, post-operative complications, and did those two patients who died due to the post-operative complications, and the other two patients who died uh, due to the uh, cardiovascular accident and the lung cancers. Uh, the, so we experienced the full uh, deaths uh, from uh, 247 patients. Uh, this is the recurrence cases, uh, a little bit detailed. So as you can see here, the, uh, the, the liquor was detected in uh, post-operative 24th month, and uh, it was a laminate stomach that I uh, uh, presented before, and then all patients were alive, uh, but uh, two patients had the recurrence in the, uh, a little bit uh, regional node and then the distant node. And, uh, they were treated by chemotherapy, and still they are all right. Uh, this is the cause of death, is, uh, as I told you before. All patients were stage one, because that the uh, number of the uh, stage one was 208 uh, out of 247. And uh, this patient had a lung cancer previously, and it was progressed, and then uh, he died at, uh, six months later after the operation. And one patient was died due to the uh, post-operative complication. And this patient was also died uh, from post-operative complications, but uh, it was maintained about six months. And uh, one of the other patient experienced a cardiovascular accident. And uh, uh, he, uh, was, uh, it was uh, 17 months later, uh, the operation. Uh, this is the survival curves, but uh, it looks very nice, but uh, I don't think it would be uh, the same in the uh, next uh, two or three years, so we have to wait and see what will happen with this uh, cohort of the patient. Uh, yeah, let me conclude this. Uh, in our country, the number of procedures and number of surgeons are quite rapidly increasing for gastric cancer uh, using robot. And the initial short-term outcome is quite acceptable.